I don't know if this is a terrible <laughs> idea. The weather is getting worse and worse. Come on, Ida, you can do it. Once again. Let's push the time. Come on. Come on, go, 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 go. The moment we all have been waiting for. Now it's time to remove the plastic. That's Bonanza, it's not right. <laughs> I'm Ida, and together with my partner in crime, Tobias, I've taken leave of work and now we're traveling Europe in our self converted Ford Transit. About that, we did spend some time in Sweden, Tobias's home country, to finish up the van, but we got impatient. <clears throat> well, I got impatient, so I ordered ferry tickets to Germany. I guess we have a couple things that we need to finish on the van. We've also taken the start of this trip real easy, enjoying all things Germany has to offer, like pretzels, sausages, and beer. So it's about time to get our bodies moving again. And this is quite perfect because we have made it to the Alps. So last night we parked our car in a little town called Bergstedsgarten. We slept in a parking lot, but it's not just in a parking lot. There's something special to this one. Let me show you guys. It's pretty awesome. So here you can see parking lot, pretty normal. But then this view, oh my goodness. Look at that view, guys, huh? Not too shabby. Today we are doing a really beautiful hike, at least it's supposed to be really beautiful, so fingers crossed for that. And we're going to a really, really famous spot up in the German Alps. The place that we are hiking to today was built by one of the most famous dictators in the world. And it was built as a secure place where you could hide away, but also as a place where you could host and represent. This is really, really steep. I mean, Miles never been driven this deep before. <laughs> this is... I had to turn the charging off. These guys in front of us have such a massive tempo because they don't want to be behind us, so they keep running out of their car to buy tickets and run in and like... <laughs> they're nuts. But do you have the tickets? We have the ticket and we're not in a rush. I think we have a ride. Yeah, there's no parking. There's more parking, but it's... Well, here you can see the magnificent view of today, total white out. One could say that we didn't choose the right day to do this. We found a parking spot. It was quite difficult to find a parking spot uh, for such a big vehicle. So if you're ever here, if you want to do the hike, make sure to be early. Uh, but we found it and now we're going to start our hike. And here is the trailhead. We're going to the top one. It says two hours and 45 minutes. So let's start the clock and see how much time we spend. We have been hiking for 37 minutes and we can already see the summit. Which is a bit weird because it said that the trip would take 2 hours and 45 minutes. But I mean, it could be really far. It's, it's, really it's still quite high. It's still quite high. All right, but it's really like the road is paved, which is quite surprising. We can see the first stop where the buses stop. And when we reach that, it's 120 meters, altitude meters left, I think. So we're almost at the summit. And I have to show you guys something pretty amazing. Look at this. And then you have the ravens up there. You can of course take the lift in the mountains. We've chosen to walk, of course. It's a little bit of walking, never hurt anybody. Maybe you have guessed where we're going, but if you haven't, we're walking up to Kelstein House, better known as the Eagle's Nest. Remember the one that Hitler built? I think it was around 1938, so he could host guests, but also use it as a place that was hard to attack. But fun fact is that Hitler himself never really spent that much time here. That being said, the view is spectacular, even though it's quite foggy. Pretty spectacular. And I can see 
miles. We are back down from our hike. It was an easy hike and a good hike. Now that we have stretched our legs a bit and our conscience was a bit better, it was time to wrap up the van build and we headed to Austria. In order to drive on Austrian highways, you need to pay a fee and we're gonna pay that fee right now so that we're all set for the Austrian highways. I think I drove the wrong way. No, we are on the petrol station. Yeah. I don't think I can park here, but <laughs> I'll do that anyways. Um, we need to for Austria. Yeah. Driver's side, left side up. A decent spot, right? Yeah. Cool. Cool. So, now we have it. Now we have it. Ready to go to Austria. And we are in Austria. Yee-hoo! Yay! And smooth, very smooth. I hope, or we are maybe not through yet, but uh, it looks smooth at least. <laughs> it looks smooth. <laughs> There's a Bauhaus, and that's our first mission for today. Things that we're going to fix right now is first, this table is way, way, way too wide or long or whatever. Because when you go from the driver's area, you just keep bumping into it, which is really annoying. So we're gonna cut off a piece of this table. Try to get Bauhaus personnel to cut it. I'm gonna try to get Bauhaus personnel to cut it. That's the first thing. So as you can see, now it can actually go into the wall, so we don't bump into it all the time. Which is a huge improvement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we can actually turn it around uh, 90 degrees as well. Yes, we can. That's news. New. New stuff. New features. New features. <laughs> Second, we're gonna put on the knobs for all our drawers. The moment we all have been waiting for. Now it's time to remove the plastic. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's Bonanza, it's not the right song. <laughs> What a beautiful color, wouldn't you say? It's much, much, much better than the blue. We don't like the blue, do we? Nah, don't really like the blue. But that being said, blue kitchens actually are really nice. Just this blue isn't really my favorite. But this is a nice color, isn't it? So we have gone for these ones from Ikea, because... Because they are Swedish. And because we like we Swedish stuff. Swedish and we like Swedish stuff. So let's screw them into place. Okay. Look at this! Ooh. Looks so fancy! And then we're going to, we have a flip down table out here that you haven't seen yet. But we have it and we want to put on sort of like a, a lock thing so that it stays up. Okay. Release. These. Does it hold? Nice. It holds. Because now it's taped to the wall. Now it's taped <laughs> to the counter. And the last thing we're gonna fix is... We still um, miss a door for the cabinets. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Hold, my little friend. <laughs> no! <laughs> I think you need to help me somehow. Yeah. And there we have it. Ooh, 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 nice. When in Austria, we had to visit the legendary bike park in Levergang that has been part of the Mercedes-Benz UCI mountain bike and downhill World Cup for more than a decade. We are in the bike park in Levergang and there's snow on the peaks, so only the middle station is open. Let's go! That's the wrong way! Oh. 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 Got some mud in my eye. And I see there in front of me. We are here enjoying ourselves in a bit snowy and cold Leogang. But it's good. It's really good. It's nice to be back on the bike again. Alright, let's go. Let's go to red. There are three stalls open in Today. We've done the blue one a couple of times. It's fairly easy. Now we're doing the red. And I'm really nervous about it. 
Snowing. I think we are starting right. Okay. Flying gangster. I don't know if this is a terrible idea. No, I'm not even doing that. Nope. That's, that's, that's the start. I don't think this is for me. Not too damage. You can roll this one. It's cold. <gasps> okay, I can do that. Yeah. Have you done it? Yeah. Lover you? Yeah. No, I have no lust. Go ahead, just roll. I'm just going to spare it, like. No, just roll. Just set it on the ground. Roll. Up on the pedal and roll. Ah, it's not even that easy. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a, I mean, I've done worse. It's just like you get that blocker and then it's impossible to get over it. It's getting worse and worse. Come on, Ida, you can do it. Just the time. Come on. Roll, 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 roll. Are you clear, Rika? Just sit on the bike and roll. Put your ass back and sit on the bike and roll. Release the brakes and just roll. It's no, no stress. <sighs> Hold to the handlebars, sit on the bike and roll. Yay! Nice! Okay, okay. <laughs> okay wait. That was really easy. <laughs> it wasn't scary at all. Oh, I don't know why I made that in such a big deal. It was just so scary. Oh, I don't know why, but that was just... Yeah, so am I. It was just a major block. So let's see how the rest of this track goes. This is a red track in the area. We've done plenty of red before. Someone jump there. Whoa, we're going into a tunnel this time. Oh! This line is all right. Whoa! 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 In the next episode. This is gonna be so nice! I was in there and it was so nice and warm. And you offered me a drink and oh, it's gonna be magnificent. How is it today? It's really good. The weather is excellent. 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 And even water is open. This place is fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider to give it a thumbs up. That helps us a lot. And if you want to stay on top of our Europe adventures, please consider subscribing to our channel. We look forward to seeing you next time.